Warning now about a drug that was pretty popular in the 1970s. Washington County deputies say some local teenagers are using LSD again. And last week, two teenagers in Aloha overdosed in two days. Amy Frazier met with investigators to find out what parents should watch out for, Amy. In both of these cases, investigators tell me the teens went into a violent, drug-induced rage. Deputies were able to get the medical help, but they're concerned teens are getting their hands on this potent, mood-changing drug. And I'm sure parents would, would look at this and, and say to themselves, not my kid. My kid would never do that. Well, these are someone's kids. Washington County deputies are warning parents to be extra vigilant after two teens in two days tore houses apart and caused injuries, each one suffering an LSD overdose. They didn't know each other, so we believe that there is an influx in the use of LSD just because these two cases just jumped out at us very close together. The first case happened at a home in Aloha, where family members reported their teen out of control. Yeah, it was, was essentially tearing the house up inside. Deputies say the teen knocked over a bookcase and TV before they were able to stop him and get him medical help. LSD is, is one of the ones at the top of the list that causes such violent uh, behavior. The second case started at a park. Teenager again out of control. Deputies say that 17 year old randomly chased a younger teen home. The victim locked himself inside the house, but the 17 year old broke down the door. Breaks into the house. The victim got away, but investigators say the teen's rage inside the home continued. In fact, deputies say he fought them until they were finally able to get him into handcuffs. I wanted to know what parents should watch out for. According to the Partnership for Drug Free Kids, LSD is sometimes called acid or micro dots. The clear liquid is often found on blotter paper with colorful images. The user may feel several different different emotions at once or swing rapidly from one emotion to another. Deputies say it's an extremely dangerous drug for anyone, let alone a teen. They're just so unpredictable and it's just, again, fortunately these did not have much more catastrophic results. And if you happen to see some of this kind of rage behavior, investigators say the best thing to do is really to call 911. And of course, they want to hear from anyone who has information about people selling LSD on the streets. And you know, I feel like we don't talk about this drug very much anymore. It, it, do you feel it like was that? a drug heavily in use and, and talked about in the 1970s. Some psychologists were using it for some of their patients back then. They said mm -hmm. it would it open your horizons and, and, and things like that. So it's interesting to see that it's making a Comeback. And nowadays, isn't it much more pure and potent than even back then? Yeah. And that's what investigators say is that especially the teenagers don't realize how potent mm. it really is. So, yeah. and, it, and it just takes a tiny bit. So, yikes, scary stuff. Mm. Thanks for that, Amy.